Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a shifter install. It's the same day as the last video, so um, even though this might be a week later, um, same day. So we're, we already put in hybrid racing shift selector springs and hybrid racing um, Denton springs. Um, I might be saying those wrong, by the way. Denton springs are a really weird way to say things, but I think that's how you say it. So we're going to be putting in our shifter now. Um, here we are. It is an NST shifter. Um, it's basically the same exact design as the hybrid racing um, shifter, um, just not as much money. It's a lot cheaper. Um, I wouldn't have went with this, and I didn't really know of it, um, but a buddy of mine had one, and I wanted to just get off his hands so I could have a short shifter. Um, I've, I always hated how cheap the stock one felt. It felt really bad, so I wanted to... I took the offer, and we're going to install the shifter today. I really have no idea how to do it. Um, it's very odd. But uh, we'll learn as we go, and uh, let's do this thing and see is the shifter worth it. So stay tuned, and let's do this thing for sure. Okay, so from my understanding, the first step is we're going to get rid of the center console here so that we have complete freedom to the uh, underside where the shifter is going to be. So I'm going to just clear out some stuff. I'm just going to a sticker that I still don't know what to do with. And... Get rid of this Bluetooth receiver that I hate because this stereo sucks. <laughs> so, from what I understand, you just take this part off, but I don't know if that's right because, like, that sounds horrible. <laughs> it really does. Ooh, I'm gonna get a 14. I'll be back either when this is off or I make some sort of breakthrough. <laughs> so, guys, uh, right now we are looking at. A bear console here. I got these. There's a clip on the side here and a clip on the side there. I got those and tore off that, which is on the bottom. And then coming in here, you got to do those guys um, and these guys on the side, those two uh, screws right there. But I'll tell you what, there's things I pride myself in having a clean car, you know. Um, maybe not on the outside because it's my daily and it gets dirty because it rains here constantly, like it is right now. But man, I didn't know I had Tylenol. What the? Come on. I could use that. Hand sanitizer? Uh, yes, please. And I had bulbs. Look at that. Got bulbs. Miniature lamps. I could use a miniature lamp any time of the day. Cigarette lighter I didn't know about. And, like, an aux cord? Come on. I could have used this. This has an aux. I could have used that. But, of course, iPhones with no auxes anymore because, you know, screw us. So, cool. We're finding stuff. <laughs> Update got the whole center console out and this is we're gonna find out that the past owners were disgusting I found even a piece of floss like those hand floss things. There's a fry Looks like a Taco Bell packet down there. I don't even know what that is I'm not using my hands to pick that up. This is your best time to probably vacuum this um, But yeah, now we have a whole bunch of space to work with so we can now get to the shifter here So that's exciting Look how plastic it is. No wonder, like, it, this sounds really bad. I mean, listen, I mean, it's all plastic. It's... It does not sound good. It rattles and makes disgusting noises. It's like now the... Now the, uh... The springs that we put in sound good. You know? But it's like... I don't know, it's just gross. So I can't wait to get this out. Let's do it. There we are. We're out. There's the cables sitting there. I really wish I had some hybrid racing cables. We could just replace these things right now. Um, but here is the stock shifter. Looks so gross. So plasticky. Um, and then there is the spring we will have to reuse. But yeah, here it is. Trash shifter. If someone wants to buy it though, check their local Facebook. If you're around Oregon, I will be selling it if you want it. <laughs> Works perfectly fine, I just don't want the stock one. And here are the two shifters next to each other. Um, and as you can tell, um, this is where the spring is going to be going from this top little piece here down to here. And that's where the spring is going to be going. That's what I'm doing right now. And as you can see, linkages the, will go on the left here. That's pretty much identical. But as you can see how much of a difference length this one, how much shorter this one is, and how much longer this one is. This is what's going to give you that short throw. Because the linkage is going to be hooking up, and you're not, it, you're only get, you're going to have to move this a smaller amount to travel a larger distance. So I can do it from here to here, and it moves a lot more. 
than it would from here to here because it's so small, it's so little. All this movement to get it only go that far. Up here is this much movement to get it that far. When here, you know, you give it this much movement and it travels much further because it is extended. That's what's giving you that short shifter. That's what's giving you the short throws. So I'm gonna throw that spring on there and we're gonna start the install. I realize at the moment um, I didn't update you guys for a while, so I finally got the shifter in. Um, not mounted or anything, but uh, I got the the linkages on the shifter on both sides. Very annoying, and even getting the little spring on was very annoying. Um, note to self though, when you're getting those linkages on, you need the blue caps. That was on the stock one. Or else it's, so this is the way it looks with the caps on. Very nice. Without it, It's just way too much gap. There's not enough room. So make sure you keep these blue little caps. Uh, so yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am tired. Um, I did have to use the little blue things. Man alive, it was hard to get in there. I tell you what, here she is, I'm all bolted up. I'm a little worried about getting the first gear because it seems really close. But we're gonna put this on. Our little weighted shift knob from Skunk 2. We're, gonna use, we're just gonna rock that. All right, let's try this out. Wow, okay. Oh my gosh, it works. Wow. Oh. Holy sh... <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Man! <laughs> I am blown away! Wow! Holy! Wow, this doesn't even feel the same car shifter. Like, wow! <laughs> Let's go drive. So, I'm done for the night. I am tired. It is, a. Uh, 11.32. Um, I'm going to put all this back together tomorrow. And I am going to go to bed. I, we'll see you in the morning. We'll get all this in. And we are going to take this for a drive. Wow. Okay, guys. Day two. Not really day two. Just it was late last night. <laughs> um, and so today, we are going to finish putting everything back together. The shifter is in. And it feels good via just um, shifting it in place. Um, also, note to self, guys, if you want long hair, if you want to grow your hair out, and uh, you like working in cars, question that. Do you really want long hair? Is it worth it? Think about it. So we're going to clean out the car a little bit more. Uh, today we're going to get rid of a lot of the, sh the crap that was in the center console and, and stuff like that. But here's the shifter, man. I mean, it's looking really good. It feels really good. Um, the linkages were pretty annoying to get in, um, especially in there and then putting it on because you need the little, the blue caps that I didn't know from the stock sifter. So, a lot of annoying stuff, but let's get this center console stuff in and I will see you probably on the drive. Okay, so update. I took the uh, shift boot off the plate just because the shift boot most likely will not work anymore since, you know, it sticks out a lot farther. Um, so update, we have the center console in. This has definitely been the easiest part, <laughs> I gotta say. I even got the clips in as well. The clips were good, I didn't break them off. So now next up, put in this part here, um, and then we'll be putting on this little cover piece, and we are done, I think. And we all are clearing here, by the way. I thought we might have to shave it, it's close but it's not touching, somehow. So, we seem to be good. So yeah, let's get that on and uh, we'll go for a drive. And here we are guys, we got it in. Uh, a little frustrated about the, the numbers. I'm gonna have to get a bolt or something to put under so we could line them up, but it's not too, not too bad. Got it, everything lined up, everything went pretty smooth. I lied about um, it not hitting that uh, little piece in there. It does, um, but I shaved it off, so 
we're good. It looks really cool. I'm very, very excited to drive this thing. Uh, so let's go do that. Hey guys, well, we're in the car and we got the shifter in. I'm very excited. Um, I guess it's, uh, it's decided to have a hurricane outside by the time we got out here. Here we are, I am so excited. It looks so nice in there. It looks so much better than stock. I've never been a fan of like shift boots, honestly, and, but I was not gonna take it off because the stock one is just gross. <laughs> it's like even just doing neutral stuff is just so much. It's honestly hard to do. But let's just get in reverse here. Man, reverse is hard to get into. And not in a bad way. It's not like the gears are bad. It's just, you know, you have to go so far over. This is my first time driving with the shifter. So if something goes wrong, you guys will be here to see it. <laughs> Man, that feels good. Wow. GSR, my B18 GSR, to have a really good shifter feel. It takes a lot, because you know, they have shift linkages, so they kind of rough sometimes. Wow. This rivals like rear wheel drive feeling shifters. Wow, this is gonna be a learning curve. I cannot shift this fast yet. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of mods like this. I love mods like this that just uh, make your experience, the driving experience a lot better and not just make the car faster, you know? It just looks so cool too. Like making your cars faster is, is cool, you know, but really you want to do things that you use every day. And I mean, if you have a manual, like obviously we do here, you use your shifter constantly. Wow. Stunning. So good. Especially with the springs. I can imagine the springs are doing a lot of work with this as well. Okay, just stop raining, I guess. <laughs> Going down the hill just stops the rain, right? Oh my gosh, it's just so close. Obviously, that's what a short shifter is for. But wow, <laughs> I am so impressed. I haven't, uh, I haven't driven a short shifter on a K series before, so I've never known what it's like to have cable. Um, obviously, I've only had like D series and B series cars, and they all have uh, shift linkages. You know what I mean? And I have had a Miata, which was obviously rear wheel drive, so the transmission was right into the shifter is right into the transmission. Of course, that was the best shifter because it goes straight into the transmission. I mean, it's kind of how it works. But this rivals it, honestly. This is so good. And I mean, I got this whole setup for like 110 to 120 bucks. The springs were like 30 something bucks with like with a little bit for shipping, so 40 bucks for shipping. And I got this shifter for $70, like 120 bucks right there. I, I mean, the shift knob though, that was extra, but I've had that already. We're gonna go straight. gawking at it because it's so nice. Getting a fifth is hard. <laughs> not that it's hard, it's just I'm not used to this. Tissue box car. Six gear? Six gear. We got all gears. Woo! I did have to 
shave the little tab piece right here because it was actually hitting not by much but i don't want it to hit so i did uh i got some uh snippers and i just snipped the corner off so it still does go into the tab but there's no corner there so it does not hit anymore are my favorite this is extraordinary all right guys so hit a like, hit the like button um tell me what you think of the shifter are you gonna get it now were you even aware of this shifter because i wasn't until very recently pulled the trigger and now i have an amazing shifter i didn't think i was gonna have a shifter for a good while because again the hybrid racing one's like 340 bucks you know and i didn't want to pour that much money into it yet i wanted to do coils and stuff first but this is real cheap and wow, <laughs> wow. So tell me what you think of the shifter. Do you have one? Do you like it? Woo. <laughs> All right guys, have a wonderful day. I will see you guys in the next video. 